Like a trapeze artist carefully walking across a tightrope, our cattle producers find themselves in a similar balancing act. The narrow and wobbling high wire spans from one end, where the producer receives the calf, to the other, where the producer sells the animal to a packing plant. Producers are required to find profitable ways to raise cattle. To do this, cattle are often fed grains, as they are nutrient-dense and inexpensive feedstuff. However, there is a careful balance of how much grain that cattle should consume, or in the case of the tightrope, how balanced a producer is as they cross the high wire. Feed too little grain, and feedlots risk taking too long to raise the animals, decreasing profit. Too much grain, and a digestive upset could occur, or even liver abscesses, my area of research. We have all heard the saying, you are what you eat, but this is especially true for cattle. The main stomach of cattle, called the rumen, is essentially a bag full of microbes like bacteria and fungi. This community of microbes is constantly changing in response to diet. When corn is consumed, all the grain-loving microbes stay for dinner. These microbes convert feed into acids, which normally isn't a problem. But when a meal becomes a feast, a lot of acid is produced. As you can imagine, this heartburn on steroids, aka digestive upset, can make the animal feel uncomfortable and prolonged digestive upset can damage the wall of the rumen. Hello, infection. It is believed that this damaged and infected stomach acts like an old and weathered brick wall, allowing unwelcome bugs to slip through the cracks. This is called a leaky gut. And the primary brick wall breaking bug is one called Fusobacterium necroforum. Not only is its name a mouthful, but it is an especially destructive and infectious bacteria. Currently, producers rely on antibiotics to hinder the growth of this bug, and subsequently to prevent liver abscesses. Even so, these liver infections continue to occur in feedlot cattle. Additionally, consumers and regulators are increasingly interested in antibiotic-free livestock production. My research is primarily focused on naturally preventing these liver infections. I will do this by testing natural feed additives like probiotics and essential oils to see how each impacts the growth of Fusobacterium necroforum. I will compare these impacts and create the right cocktail of infection-fighting ingredients for a feedlot supplement. Additionally, my research is aimed at better understanding how these infections occur. By comparing the blood of the animals that have liver abscesses to those that do not, differences in biomarkers and microbes that are present in the samples could shed light on what is occurring inside the affected animal. Cattle producers have a difficult balancing act to perform. With the right tools, like natural liver abscess prevention, producers can raise cattle in both a healthy and profitable way.